Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss my upcoming videos. So yeah, as you read by today's title, you obviously saw that I'll be creating this butterfly look. I give you tips and tricks on how to make this look easier and not as complicated as maybe it looks like it is. It's very easy and simple and you could do whichever colors you want. For this one, I just did purplish orange tones with a little bit of pink but obviously you could create it however you want so yeah guys one thing before we do get started i want to say it, since it is hispanic heritage month to all my hispanic people you know celebrate that you're hispanic be proud of who you are i am proud of who i am um my family is colombian um so yeah i grew up in a very hispanic household always speaking spanish listening to spanish music all of that you celebrate where you come from enjoy it you know we should be proud of where we, we are from and everything like that so yeah i just wanted to leave that out there and let's get into the video so, so yeah guys to create this butterfly look right here i'll be using two palettes that take me to brazil from bh cosmetics and the morphe times james charles palette over here and i'll also be using a black eyeliner and a white eyeliner for the dots. The Take Me To Brazil palette looks like this. While the James Charles palette, it looks like this. So yeah, first things first, I already put concealer and set the base of my eye. So I'm ready to go. I'll be using this Morphe E17 brush first. Um, and I'll go into the James Shaw's palette, take this orange right here. And that's gonna be like the base of my eye. So I'll just start off patting it on first. Like that. Um, so far it looks like this. I just spread it out like that first, tap on it slowly. And then to blend it out a little bit, I take this brush, a fluffy brush like that, and just bring it out a little bit more. You do want to bring it out all the way to the corner over here because the eyeliner will go all the way there. I am going to be taking this color right here now, the one next to the orange just to define a little more color towards the outer edge and don't worry if you get it like under your eye because you are going to bring it down as well just like that so that's how you're going to start off your base to then add purple tones and all of that I am going to bring it down a little bit because that's how I was going to blend out later on with the purple and everything down here. Let's go into the Take Me To Brazil palette and start off with the purple shade right here, the one on the top. That's going to first be the base for the purple shades and then I'll go into the James Shaw palette and darken up the purple. So you see that I bring it out and into a V over here. That's what I'm going to do here. First I'll pat it on. Just like that, you tap on it. Then I'm gonna darken it up now with the Morphe palette with these three purple shades over here. I'm starting off with this darker one first. And that one I will be applying mostly to the outer part of my eye. Because once you bring it in a little bit, you'll be using the lighter purples for like the midsection of your eye. So just build up your color. Don't worry about blending right now. First you wanna just build up the color and then you'll blend out the lines. I like going into the triangle form just because it's gonna give me like a line. So it could give me a guide to where I put my eyeliner later on. So yeah, 
uh, so far that's how the purple is going to look like. And then I'm going to go with these two shades right here. I'm going to mix them both up with a similar brush to the one that I just used. And then I'm going to pat it on. And that's going to brighten up the color towards the midsection of the eye. Now to get the purple on this part of your eye, because the bottom part of the butterfly is going to look like that, you're going to take the skinny brush that you had before, this one, not with the darker purple, but more with these two tones, go very light handed because they are very pigmented, and just tap off the excess, and just guide it towards the outer part of your bottom lash line so yeah guys this is how it looks after I clean up the lines a little bit to match this side so now I'm gonna add the pink tones to the inner corner but to do that we have to cut the crease so I'll be using the same flat brush that I have been using before and I have the concealer in my hand just gonna tap it on there it's gonna be like a little half cut crease So yeah guys, that's how it looks once you cut the crease. I'm just going to take the white from each palette. Each palette has a white. I'm just going to take this one from the Morphe palette. I'm just going to put it as my base to set the concealer a little bit. Just like that. And then, as you can see on this side, it has a little bit of like orangey, pinkish, and then a very light, light pink. So what colors I used were this one right here from Take Me to Brazil for like the midsection mixed up with this orange right here on top as well as I built up the color a little more with these two pinks this hot pink right here and then this pale pink is mostly for the inner corner of my eye so that's what I'm going to do with this brush right here, I take this brush, a pointy brush like this, because it's going to make me be precise. Build up the color to what you like. If you want it to be lighter, then do not the hot pink and all of that. If you want it to be darker, then obviously build up the color to your preference. So what I do is take the brush that I used before for the purples. So we could blend out the roots on the brush with the pinks. So then it could give you like a nice transition. For the inner corner, I'm going to be using the light pink that I showed you earlier. This one right here. Just put it in the inside. Tap it on first. Now as you can see there's a little bit like of an orange tone over here and here we're missing that so what I do is go back in with this brush right here, take the orange color, it's a mix of oranges, it's the orange from the Morphe palette with the orange from Take Me to Brazil that I showed you guys earlier, just mix both of them up and that's going to give you the orange that I have right here. Be very precise because you don't want it to mix up with the pinks that you already have on there. And just bring it down to like this part. Just bring it down here. Just like that. So as I said earlier, I'll be using the Ali Girl eyeliner like that. It does have a fine tip like that. Like that. Bring it up. I start off with a very thin, thin line. You could barely even see right now. And since I already did this, I have to match it. So I'm going to be looking between this one and this one to make sure that it's looking similar. I 
from the point of the eyeline that I have right here ready I'm gonna go down just a little bit like a half an inch so bring it down like that bring it down just a little bit then you go back up You go back up just like that. Okay, so then the first line is going to go downward just a little bit. So just like that, I'm going to bring the line down. So it's basically just connecting the dot just like that don't worry about it being a perfect line yet because we are going to thicken it out as thick as this one as I said earlier to have space to put the dots okay so the inner corner one this line right here is going to be a little trickier because you do want to curve it just a little bit So yeah guys, now it's time to add the white dots to your butterfly on this side. So what I do first is go back into my concealer with the same flat brush and I just spread out the white dots along the black eyeliner. The reason that I go in with concealer first is because I do want the white eyeliner to be seen as much as possible and I've noticed that if I apply um, white eyeliner on top of the black eyeliner, it doesn't come out as clean and bright as I want it to be so I am going to be using concealer before I apply the eyeliner so same thing I'll show you how I do a few of the dots again go in with the flat brush or whatever just like that that's the first dot I don't even know if you can see it let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing so yeah there you can see that I had just put the first dot then just spread it out as much as possible That's two. So yeah guys, this is how it looks with the eyelashes on. Now I'm gonna apply lipstick. I don't know which lipstick I wanna use today. So I have a mixture of red, pink, tone. So I'll go with like a light lipstick. It's just cause my eyes are already like enough. One is Revlon, the other one is CoverGirl. So I start off with the this one in the color blushed. I won't line my lips up today. I don't line up my lips every single day. And I do want to add a little bit of a peach tone to it. Just because of the oranges that I have. So I'm going to use this CoverGirl color Caramel Kiss. Looks like that. And I'll put this one on the center of my lips. These lipsticks are very creamy. So no, they're not matte at all. They're creamy and shiny. Just like that. That's how my lips look for today. So yeah guys, that was basically the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed me creating this butterfly look for you guys. Um, please do try it out. Send me pictures of how it came out. You know, you could use the same colors I did or just go with a single color like purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Or use way more colors than I did. Send me the pictures. I would love to see what you guys came up with. If you did like me doing more of the creative, artistic makeup look like this, um, just leave it down below what other looks I should do. And you know, I started off with the butterfly, but you guys leave suggestions down below and i'll try to recreate those um yeah i hope you guys enjoy i hope you like comment and subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming videos as well as share this video with your friends family and all of that repost the video things like that i really do appreciate it if you want to follow me on social media i'll leave my instagram and facebook down below all my information will be there 
um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next video bye guys <laughs>